Will, big day today. How are you preparing? How are you feeling? I feel good, man. It's, it's, it feels like a nice occasion to end the season with having had probably our toughest season so far in the Barnet League in terms of results. It feels nice to end it, like nice day, good evening, uh, game against good opposition. So yeah, we're looking forward to it and, and we always prepare the same way, just ready to go. Uh, looking forward to it. First time in the Charity Shield final. <laughs> How are you guys preparing for this big day against a top opposition? Um, similar to how we always do, to be fair, we just, you know, we, we come into every game wanting to enjoy it. Um, looking to play the way that we've always played, you know, we've been going nearly 12 years now. We've always tried to play the same kind of football, keep the ball on the floor. Obviously the surface tonight makes that a lot easier. Um, and we're playing against an opposition that will want to do similar things. So it should be a, it should be a good game of football. I'm looking forward to it. Will, it's been a long season for you guys in the Barnet League. Next season is your last season. Are you guys going to go all out this season and start the new season really strong, really fresh and finish on a high? We're hoping so. We're hoping so. You know, we, like I said, we've been going a long time and we've had kind of discussions amongst ourselves that maybe next season is the time to call it a day. Um, but as soon as you do that, everybody wants to be back involved again. Oh, if it's our last season, then we want to be there. So we're hoping to be strong next season. We're hoping to compete on all fronts, um, as we have done in most seasons in the Barnet League, with the exception of this last one, um, which, as I mentioned, has been tough. But yeah, we're looking to go out with a bang. Um, and you never know, if it goes too well, we might have to go for one more year after that. So you never know. A top opposition. You guys going all out today. What's the strategy? Um, you know, but, We've played Highgate probably 15 to 20 times now um, and it's very rare that we get a result off them. They're a, a top, top team as they proved this season going and winning the Middlesex Cup, the London Cup, obviously the Barnet League and, and various other trophies. So for us, whenever we play this side, it's about nullifying spacing behind. They, their wingers are quick and tricky and they'll always look to, to test your fullbacks and, and get in behind them. So we'll be looking to close that space off. And then when we get the ball, we want to counter attack quickly and, and try and do the same to them that they'll try and do to us, which is getting behind their defence. Um, their, their defence usually, if it's the same tonight, I don't know, but is usually very experienced um, and they've they played against us a number of times, so they'll know what we're trying to do, but it's just about having that little bit of an edge tonight, maybe, um, to get us the result. A win will finish you guys off like with a big feeling today. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling as a coach? I feel good, man. Look, you, you've spoken to me a number of times and, and people around the league will know I, I just love this this job. It's not really a job. I love this. It's, you know, I've I've done it for probably six years now. I've loved every single minute of it, and I'll be gutted when it when it's done. So I just come out here every game, enjoy it, enjoy the moment, enjoy the occasion, and and then look forward to the next one. I doubt it'll be the last time we'll see you. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Alex, big day today. How are you feeling? It is, yeah, a big day. Another trophy. Obviously, we want another win. We we feel good. We feel confident after we already got. Already won four trophies this season, so this can be can add another one. So always confident. Already secured the fourth. You're up against a stiff opposition to secure the fifth. How are you guys setting up? Yeah, I think I think today it's um, we, we we mixed up a bit the team and um, the, our manager wanted the whole club to be involved. So we got some players from the second, the third, the fourth team, uh, which is so we can have a nice day out as a as a club but also obviously we have some of the of our strong players and uh, we we want to win another trophy you got you already win as a man of this club right playing for Highgate you already win four trophy going yeah. for your fifth was that you guys objective to win all five or all six this season uh, we, we we really have a strong squad and uh, we have depth in our squad so we we, we go for every trophy if we, we wanted to win all of them, which is like, there, I think there are seven in total. So we tried to win all of them, but obviously a lot of two games in the same day, double headers, it, it just was a bit too much. And uh, yeah, but we always go for all, all trophies. Of course, a winning also. club. Winning club, <laughs> yeah. Um, how are you feeling today though, Alex? Yeah, I feel very good. Uh, it's a nice day out. Nice day for uh, for football, and uh, I, I think it's a historic day for the club. If we win the fifth, 
fifth uh, trophy is uh, we, we make history for this club and uh, that's what we want to do. So yeah, I'm confident we, we will get the fifth one. A very warm welcome to Silver Jubilee Park for this BSFL Charity Shield match between Highgate Albion and Park Royal. Highgate Albion in the sky blue, managed by Adam Shahane. In goal, Alex Gavriloya. A back four of Adam Tripp, Ian Maitland, Teddy Stacey and Alvin Keremar. In midfield, Ashley Dre, Lonick Taller, Tej Kennedy, Excellence Mahemba and Richard Enning. And leading the line is James Esprit. On the bench, Jake Cass, Alan Callahan, Reese White and Charlie Maitland. Park Royal playing in the red shirts. Their manager is Will Pearpoint. In goal, Luke Ward. A back three of Gavin Austin, Daniel Stout and Charlie Mabbott. Two wing backs, Edward Davies and Krasmir Jordanov. In the midfield, the captain, Kian Sadig. Just behind him, Lewis Impleton and Alexandros Cabridis. Two strikers, Bertie Shelley and Courtney Austin. Two substitutes, Cameron Wallace and Nicholas Brown. Today's referee is Ka Ho Wong, assisted by Ricky Rose and the BSFL Young Referee of the Year, Joshua Soloway. Fourth official is Jaron Smith. Shining brightly on Silver Jubilee Park. Well, we finished bottom of the Premier League. Be an easy ride though, they've won four matches in the Premier League this season. Here they come with uh, Davis. Hangs it in. That's a really good header into the corner. And there's an upset for the books. Courtney Austin with a simple header past Gavriloya. It's a really good delivery. Edward Davis. There he is. Free header in between the two defenders right into the corner. Perfect start for Park Royal. By Tala. Towards the left-hand side, Richard Enning has got the overlap from his full-back. Kadamar wins a corner. In comes that corner. That's a good, safe pair of hands from Luke Ward. Came and collected and distributes very quickly to Sadi. Austin. Timely challenge from Adam Tripp. Kennedy wants to play it down. The referee wants to play on. Tala. Two balls on the pitch as well. Tala. Great through ball. Chance of the equaliser. And it's taken brilliantly. But the flag is up. Well, there's plenty of talking points surrounding this goal. John Sholloway with the flag up. There was two balls on the pitch. There was a red, and red that was down, but Referee wanted to play on. That's a mistake from Mabbott. Mabbott bites back. And that's going to be a free kick, which they want to take quickly, but they have to be brought back. Tala. He got it over the wall. Some way over the crossbar as well. Stacey. Neatly into the feet of Esprit. Taylor again. Looking to conjure up something from somewhere. Turn from Tage Kennedy. Always busy, always lively. Stacey. Mohemba, it's a good ball as well, a little pull back and there is the equaliser and this time James Esprit makes sure with a clinical finish, he built up down the right hand edge, Ashley Dre pulled it back, James Esprit finished it into the corner from close range. Towards 
Goal kick. Yeah, straight up in the air from Impleton. That's Kennedy. Gordon up. Very nearly. Good defending by Teddy Stacey. Tala. Adam Tripp. He's made some good progress here, Adam Tripp. Tala again. Long ball over towards Tej Kennedy. Brings it down brilliantly. This is Kennedy. Can he find room for the shots? In the end, just too many defenders there to stop him finding a route to go. It's an interesting ball. Courtney Austin. He's got a run in on Teddy Stacey. Ball to the back post. Cleared away. That's the ball from the head of Trip. Richard Ennick gets there first. Back from Gavin Austin to Luke Ward. Next season will be Park Royal's final season. Will Pearpoint, the manager, announced that he will be folding at the end of next season. It's Kennedy. It's a lovely weighted pass. Remember. Kennedy. Mahemba again, trying to find a way through. They have defended well so far, Park Royal. They've made it difficult for the team that have won the quadruple. Comes a deep cross from Tripp, which is headed away by Daniel Stout. Get him up. Dre. Taking off of him, though. Right. Cabaridis. In the thick of the action, pings it down the left hand side. Mahemba. Kennedy. To the back post. And in eventually from Richard Enning. 2 1 to Highgate Albion. He needed two big bites of the cherry before it ended up in the back of the net. Made by Kennedy, a lovely bit of skill, just chipped up to the back post. The header, just slightly missed, and then the defensive clearance came back off of Enning and into the corner. A little bit unfortunate for Park Royal, who find themselves behind for the first time in this game, just past the half-hour mark. City, the captain, looks to the left-hand side. Played back down the line by Cabrides. Davis, to the edge of the box, Courtney Austin, room for the shots. Defender did just about enough. It's good defending by Teddy Stacey, it's going to be a corner. City to take. It's deep, beaten in the air. Fielded well by Gavaloya, who quickly distributes downfield, a long kick, and off goes Kennedy. Pass didn't quite make it to its intended place from Kennedy. They're still on the attack of Lonet Tala. Austin's throat. Drive forward from Richard Enning, trying to find Mahemba. Cut out by Daniel Stout. Cleared away by Ed Davis. Hasn't got much distance, Richard Enning. Good run from him into the penalty area. Esprit. Interesting from Esprit. That would have been something spectacular, but it was straight at Luke Ward. Stout. Now Highgate Albion, clicking through the gears. This is a chance for Richard Enning. The defenders have got between him and the goal. Smuggled away. Shelley. 
He's got a run here on Ian Maitland. <laughs> Look at that. All the experience in the world. And he knew exactly when to step in and time his tackle to perfection. Jadenic. Oh, it's a lovely flick. He's heading towards the top corner. That would have been spectacular. Ward's long kick downfield. Held up well by Bertie Shelley. And again, reading it so well. Cleared upfield. That's the last of the action. Highgate Albion have had to come from behind. And at half time, they lead Park Royal by two goals to one. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to display coverage of sections of the second half. We apologise for any inconvenience. And we're back. Due to technical difficulties, we've been unable to show you three goals. Richard Enning firing home his second on 55 minutes, giving Highgate Albion a 3-1 lead. But two quick-fire goals from Courtney Austin and Gavin Austin levelled the scoring at 3-3. Ian Maitland taking the ball over the halfway line. Kennedy. Stacey. Maitland again. That's his, his chances further upfield. Kennedy. Dre goes for the return. And Dre just got a toe to it. But the defender and the goalkeeper between them did just about enough. Corner to Park Royal. Headed away firmly. They've done ever so well, Park Royal, to come back into this game. 3 1 down to 3 3. Now they've got some defending to do again. That's a brilliant ball. This is Kennedy. Kennedy. Good ball in. He was trying to reach, but couldn't quite reach. From Charlie Maitland. Out to Stacey. That's good defending from Sadiq. And Sadiq again. Shelley. Austin. Stout. He's got players in light blue breathing down his neck. One of them is Ashley Drake. And by Gavin Austin. And spread towards the left hand side. Davies. Good running from Davies. And the interception from Alan Callaghan. That's a great challenge. Really good tackle. The highest, highest order. Look at this. Wraps himself around. Wins the ball. Really well timed. Tala. Good touch. Jake Cass. Switch by Tala. Tiny ball as well. Kennedy. Good chance of a shot here for Tala. Onto the left foot. Down a cold attack, but he's still got the ball, and that's not a bad ball either. It's blistering the shot towards goal. It was Jake Cass, and it was just over. Free kick taken quickly by Dre to Tala. Kid him up. And way back. Tala once more. Thrill late in the day. Highgate Albion are pulling the strings at the moment. It's a good ball forward up towards the edge of the penalty area. Alan Callaghan. Fourteen from Charlie Maitland. Suddenly it comes out to Cass. Oh, that's a lovely turn. Cass, that's brilliant. This is Jake Cass, 4 3. Well, if ever there's a goal worthy of winning a final of any sort, then it's that goal by Jake Cass. Such brilliance in the turn. 
and in the way in which he just shrugged past Mabbott and then he looks up picks his spot and uses some force in the shot to fire it home back with a bang Jake Cass 4-3 have come here today and given Highgate Albion a game for that they can be very very pleased just pulled up there isn't he uh, so the captain driving forward with Cass big chance this good save it was Alan Callaghan one on one Luke Ward with a stop the kick has been given Ward Kick forward, managing to pick out Impleton. This Courtney Austin pulls it back. Right away. Now Highgate Albion could cause some real damage. It's a forceful run from Mahemba. From inside his own half to inside the penalty area, pulls it back. And that's a really good save. Yannick Teller thought he'd scored. And goes Luke Ward. With his hands behind the ball. Made by excellence, Mahemba. Looked a goal all the way. Oh, make it look easy. Davis. Yeah, it. Tight. All right. Davis again. Back to where we started. Tala. Orchestrator in the middle of the midfield. Gabriides working hard to try and put pressure on him. And the ball through the middle. There's no flag. And this is Jake Cass to settle it. And settle it he does with a little chip over the goalkeeper. It's his second goal since coming on as a substitute. And Highgate Albion for the second time this evening have a two goal cushion. Great play by Tala, onside Cass, and this is the way to finish, right into the corner. By three to Highgate, Albion. Strong run towards the halfway line. Cass on a hat-trick. And Callahan. It's the cross in. Behind everyone. And there goes the final whistle. And a thoroughly entertaining game. Park Royal gave Highgate Albion a run for their money. But in the BSFL Charity Shield, it's finished Highgate Albion 5, Park Royal 3. Trophy. How are you feeling? Yeah, we are. We were very happy, very glad we done it. Uh, all it mattered today was just, just a win, another trophy. Uh, we made it hard for ourselves a bit. It was seven, eight minutes to go, and it was 3-0. And uh, yeah, they, they, they are a good team. We always have a difficult game with them, but uh, we're glad we won. So yeah, happy. Happy for uh, the fifth trophy and uh, making history for Highgate. Made it a little bit hard for yourself at the end there, letting them back in. How did you feel it was going to end? Was it a bit scary? Yeah, I have to be honest that that trio was a bit scary, but um, but I saw some of them, some of their uh, players, they're already having cramps and so on, and we know we can uh, we can run, and our players are very very fit and we, we we win quite a few games towards the end so um just a bit scary but then i know we will we would get uh, 
over the line, especially with Jay Kass coming on up top. Uh, yeah, we were expecting him to score, and uh, he scored the fourth goal. So, yeah. Going, going free free. You guys were close in a free one, then they got it to free free. Do you felt it was a big push, or do you still feel it was like a close over the line for you guys? Uh, I think it was close over the line for us. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think we 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 knew we were very confident and we knew we we're gonna win uh, in the end. But well, it's 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 always a bit dangerous when it's three or seven eight minutes left to play. But uh, yeah, as I said, they were they were. They were I saw them quite tired and uh, I was quite confident. We 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 had more of the ball and uh, I knew we we're gonna create more.